Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 6th of 2024 is titled NGC 7789, Caroline's Rose. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a cluster and in fact a cluster of stars. And you can see it doesn't stand out a lot, but you can see that there is a distinct um, concentration of stars toward the center of this image. Now this is what we call an open star cluster. So we have globular star clusters and open star clusters. Generally, open clusters are the younger ones and globular clusters are much older. Now this is a relatively old open cluster at about 1.6 billion years. Now how can we estimate the age of a star cluster? We just see a bunch of stars there. Well one of the things that we can do is we know star clusters are great ways to study the evolution of stars. And that's because they all form from the same material and at essentially the same time. So it eliminates some of the variables when we just look at random stars in the sky because they could have formed billions of years apart and they could have formed from diff rather different materials. So when we look at these star clusters are a great way to study the evolution of stars. Now what we look at there is what we call the turnoff point in the Hertzsprung Russell diagram. The Hertzsprung Russell diagram plots stars using two variables. We look at the temperature on the x axis and their brightness on the y axis, and we find a pattern there that runs pretty much from upper left to lower right that is called the main sequence. That's where most of the stars live and where stars will spend 90% of their lives. Now as stars age, it's the most massive stars, those at the upper right that age first and go through their lives and become red giants. So that main sequence slowly disappears from the upper left down as it ages. And when we look at that point where the main sequence where those stars are just leaving the main sequence, and we know from theoretical models how old a star has to be at those points, we can then use that to estimate the age of the star cluster. We call this the turnoff point. That's the point where stars are just leaving the main sequence and heading up toward the red giant phase. Now we can see some of those red giant stars here standing out in fact a good number of them because this is a much older star cluster and its light becomes dominated by the light of those stars. And that's because the other stars that would have been very bright are now long gone. After 1.6 billion years there are not no bright stars, no massive stars left. They've all gone through their lives. So by doing these measurements, we are able to use that to determine the ages of a star cluster and therefore the ages of the stars within it, helping us to better understand and refine our models of stellar evolution. Now the cluster itself named Caroline's Rose is named after Caroline Herschel. And she is the one who actually discovered this in the late 1700s. She discovered this cluster and it bears her name today. So that was our picture of the day for July 6th of 2024. It was titled NGC 7789 Caroline's Rose. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be cloudy skies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.